Welcome back to Family Fortunes tonight. It's the Richards versus the Falconers. It's the noble art of acting up against gossip mongers. <laughs> <laughs> so far, the Richards have yet to score, but in the league with 93, it's the Falconers. All right, John and Helen, come and join me down the front. Let's continue playing Family Fortunes. <laughs> Helen, John, John, Helen. Hello, Helen. Hi. One hand by your buzzer, one hand behind your back. Every point's with a pattern. Good luck. Surveyed 100 people looking for the top seven answers. Name a way you might guess that a man was a transvestite. <laughs> yes, Helen. He's wearing women's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much a giveaway. <laughs> He's wearing women's clothes, our survey says. Yeah, running dress. Go and play off us. You know play? All right, good stuff. John, go back to your family, start conferring. Play. You might get the chance to steal. Now, Helen, how long have you been married to Ben? Oh, four and a half years. Four and a half years? Four mm -hmm. and a half blissful years, I believe. Oh, yes. And yeah. when you met him, did he have any skeletons in his closet? Um, well, we've been going out for um, a few months, yeah. and um, I found a videotape in the cabinet called Love in the Afternoon. Oh, um, right. Which I thought was a strange thing to find. So I asked him about it, and he just kind of passed it off and said, oh, it's nothing, it's nothing. So what did he do with the tape? Well, it was while he went out. We actually got it out with the girls and a glass of wine, a big bottle of wine, and put it on. And, was it uh, what you expected? It was genius. Oh, <laughs> but um, we told him we'd seen it, and so then the tape disappeared. I think it oh, got burnt, it's burnt at some dead. point, but yeah. um, I've dead. never seen it since. So that tape's yeah. been burnt, has it? Yeah. Well, that one has, yeah. <laughs> That's what you think, Benny Boy. No, 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 no. <laughs> Company's gone bust. You can't have got it. You can't have got it. Are you ready for some love? <laughs> <laughs> no. Please. No, no. no. Oh, no. You've really got it. Everyone at home, uh, make yourselves really, really comfortable. <laughs> Get your favourite cushion, plump it up a bit. Oh, no. Get everyone from upstairs to no. come downstairs. Because this oh. is what we in the trade call TV gold. <laughs> How much sick <laughs> I'm gonna get for that. This is gonna last on the set of the bill, this will last years. I think we've opened a very, very serious wound. <laughs> which we're about to rub salt in because it gets better, Ben. <laughs> yes. Take a look at this. I look such a yep. silly person. <laughs> I can't believe you found that. <laughs> let's, let's leave that there. <laughs> right. Name a way you might guess that a man was a transvestite. By the wig he's wearing. By the wig he's wearing. Good answer, but is it up there? Our survey says. <laughs> oh, it's oh. not there. Oh, lucky. Lisa. Um. Wearing makeup. Fellow wearing makeup might be a transvestite. Our survey says. <laughs> yes! Oh, yes. Well Stella. Wearing high hang heels. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait. <laughs> Let's go back to this singing polaris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> right, so you, you did really, really well on Love in the Afternoon. <laughs> that someone had the bright idea of saying, hey, Ben, why don't you release a single? Yeah. Yeah. Now, you thought that no one bought that single. Only a, there was only a small handful of people bought it, really. Well, one of the small handful of people <laughs> that bought that CD was actually the producer of this show. <laughs> <laughs> ben has been in the charts, everyone. He didn't make top 40. We seriously doubt that he made the top 100. <laughs> <laughs> but listen to this. On my own. <laughs> you were here with me. I can see a part of all my dreams. Time goes by, but I still find I need to be Stella, do you think 
plan for interrupting. Name a way you might guess that a man was a transvestite. Where Not we... only that, Ben! There's <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. laughs> too much ammunition! <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Stella, once again, I apologise. Uh, wearing high heels. Wearing high heels. Name a way that you might guess that a bloke was a transvestite. You'll have on a big pair of high heels. Our service says... It's not oh. there. Get ready for this. Might get the chance to steal, Ben. Well, he's going he's to be in in, in ladies, ladies' part of a clothes store. With one life left, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> you come up with that. <laughs> Five answers remaining. <laughs> Our survey says. Oh no! Come on, Bolton's coming in. Let's have an answer. What do you think? Hairy legs. Hairy legs. Yeah. Yep, Scott. Adam's apple. Adam's apple. Good answer, Jeanette. Um. Very, very blonde hair. Very, very blonde hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> big hair. Oh, big hair. Big okay, blonde hair. Artificial boobs. Artificial boobs. Jenny. Um. Okay. I think we're going to go with Adam's apple. You're going to go with the Adam's apple. If it's up there, you storm the points from the Richards family. Jenny is saying Adam's apple for the steal. Our survey says. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well done, indeed. Let's take a look at those missing answers. The seventh most popular was... <laughs> Deep voice! Yeah. Sixth most popular was... <laughs> Hairy legs! Yeah. Well done, Dominique, you said that. Fifth most popular was... <laughs> Stubble. <laughs> and the fourth most popular answer was... <laughs> Big hands! <Big> hand. <laughs> so, at the end of round two, the Richards family have yet to score in the lead with 126. It's the Falconers! <laughs> Right, then it's time to turn the dial to stressful. Jeanette and Mike, come and join me as we play Double Money. <laughs> Jeanette, Mike, Mike, Jeanette, one hand by your buzzer, one hand behind your back. Each point is worth twice the price, because it's double money. Good luck. We surveyed 100 people looking for the top five answers. Name an occupation where you wear a hat. <laughs> oh, quick for the mark there, Jeanette. <laughs> 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 hey, Mike. A policeman. A policeman? Yeah. <laughs> You're all saying a policeman, our survey says... <laughs> well done, <laughs> top answer. Do you want to play it back to that? Okay. Play it. Right, Mike, go back to your family, start conferring. You might get a chance to steal. Scott, what do you think? Uh, horse racing. Horse racing, a jockey. Yeah. They wear hats for safety. Our survey says... <laughs> it's not up there, unlucky Scott. Dominique? A conductor. You're saying a bus conductor. Our survey says... <laughs> it's not there. Mm. Get ready, Richard's family. You might get a chance to steal. Fawners, you've got one life left. Okay. Jenny, what do you think? Someone wearing a answers. hard hat on a building site. A builder? Yeah. Hard hat. Our survey says... <laughs> yes, well done. Third most popular answer. <laughs> Three answers up there, John. You've got one life left, though. A fireman. A fireman. Yes, firemen wear hard helmets. Our survey says... <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, John. Thank you. With that correct answer, the beep has gone off, which means you've won a spot prize. Take a look at this, John. Fancy a dip in the Arabian Sea? Of course you do! Well, John, thanks to JewelHolidays.com, you and three others are off to the west coast of India! You get to take in the sights of Goa and travel to Trivandrum, whilst taking it all in at a leisurely pace on a luxury cruise liner. Scorching! Thank you. Well done, congratulations. Thank you very much. Hey, Jeanette, make sure you get the French maids outfit dry. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, let's get back to the board. There are two answers remaining. You've got one life left, Jeanette. It's not egg. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Um, someone in the army, Air Force. Someone in the army or the Air Force. Force. Get ready, Richard. You might get the chance to steal if it's not up there. We're looking for the armed forces. Our survey says... <laughs> it's oh. not there. Oh, Stella, what do you think? A chef. A chef. Lisa? A postman. Postman, Mike? Sailors. Sailor, Helen? Pilot. Pilot, Ben? I'm loving chef. Loving chef, OK. For the chance to steal from the Faulkner family, you're saying chef. Our survey says... <laughs> yeah! yeah! <laughs> well done, Ben. Congratulations. Let's reveal the missing answers. The f Well, there's only one. The fifth most popular answer was... <laughs> Minor. Yeah, there you go, they were hard helmets. Right, at the end of the first double money round, the scores are the Faulkners have got 126, but in the lead just with 138, it's the Richards. <laughs> Let's crack on with more double money. Scott and Lisa, come and join me up the front. Let's play double money. 
Now then, I've got to tell you, both families, it's pretty much neck and neck. Whoever wins this next round will go through to big money. Lisa, Scott, good luck. Faulkner's, Richards, good luck. One on by your buzzer, one on behind your back. We're looking for the top four answers. We surveyed 100 people. Good luck. <laughs> Apart from washing, name something that people do in the shower. <laughs> Chance, Lisa. Sing. Sing! Yeah. You're saying sing for control of the board. Our survey says... Yes, well done. Yeah. Yeah. Lisa, do you want to play all fast? OK. Play. Play, you want play? OK, Scott, go back to well your family. Start conferring. <laughs> Stella, <laughs> apart from washing, name something people do in the shower. Shave your legs. Shave your legs. Are you saying shave your legs, Stella? Our survey says... Yes! Yeah. Yeah. That noise means you've won a spot prize. Ooh. Take a look at this. You've won a three-night, guilt-free, luxury holiday for two at Europe's number one eco-friendly spa resort, Aqua City in Slovakia. Stella, it'll be the ultimate in relaxation as you soak up the numerous thermal water pools and jacuzzis whilst enjoying the stunning views of the high Tatras Mountains. Get in! Thank you. Right then, we're looking for two more answers. You've got all three lives intact. Name something apart from watching that people do in the show. Scrubbing. Scrubbing. Yeah, exfoliating, scrubbing. You know. Ella's looking at you like that's not what we do. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying scrubbing. Our survey says. <laughs> oh, it's not. Oh. Oh. Ella, what were you thinking? Um, make love. Make love. Yes. You're saying. <laughs> Our survey says... Yeah! 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 Oh, yeah! No pressure. Yes. <laughs> Apart from washing, Mike, name something that people do in the shower. Hair wash. Wash the hair? Yeah. Right, you're saying wash the hair. Two lives left, one answer remaining. You're saying wash the hair. Our survey says... <laughs> oh, it's not there. Lisa, pressure's piled on you now. You need to get this right to stay in the game. <laughs> Faulkner's get ready, you might get the chance to steal. Lisa, apart from washing them, something that people do in the shower. <laughs> Come on, Lisa, just give me an answer because. Oh, After no. time, you aren't. You've lost the life. Oh, Faulkner's, oh, let's no. be having you. Dominique, what do you think? Brushing your teeth. Brush your teeth, Scott. Sobering up. Sober up, Jeanette. Wake up. Wake up, John. P. <laughs> Hey. You as well. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I'm just thinking that if two of you do it, there must be a hell of a lot more at home that do as well. So um, I think I'll go with my dad's crew dancer. Pee in the shower. For the game, for the board, the last round of double money. You're saying urinate, our survey says... <laughs> ah! Done. At the end of the game, the Richards have 138 points, but the winners with 296 points are the Faulkner family. <laughs> well, done, well done, you're going to be playing big money in just a moment. Then, <laughs> commiserations, we can't say goodbye without hearing your hit single, <laughs> One More Time. Oh my own. <laughs> Wishing you were here with me. <laughs> It's been fantastic. We've had a really good time. Thank Richard you. Richard you've been great sports, especially you, Ben. Thank you very much. <laughs> Give a big round of applause. <laughs> but you don't leave empty handed because Stella, you won that prize, that fantastic spa prize. And you got 138 points, which means we're going to multiply it by 10. So tonight you've won £1,380 really for your charity. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Join us after the break with more Family Fortunes.